Hello and welcome to the Digital Spugagafa platform. Today I'm going to show you how to log into the platform, how to access the barbecue deep dive event content, and to update your profile and your company profile as well. First of all, you will need to go to the official website of the Spuga and Gafa website. It's called spugagafa.com or .de. At the top here, you will see the login details. If you've already ordered a ticket before, you can just click log into the Spogagafa platform. If you've never logged in before, please go through our ticket shop and you can access a ticket for free. I've already purchased a ticket before, so I'm going to the official login here. First of all, I will just enter my details. I've logged in before with um, the event details from the June event and I just click login. Now my ticket will be checked and I'm coming through to the main platform. First of all, you will be asked to complete your profile. Here you can update all of the details you're interested in and you're looking for. Please take the time and go through it step by step because all of these details will go into the artificial intelligence to provide you the best matches. It's very easy to update. You just click into one, you choose them, you click update and you press next. Now you will be asked if you want to share your contact details. I would highly recommend to keep this public because everyone should, everyone should be able to see you. However, if you feel like you want to hide it, you can always change it to private or to connections only. Um, just a side note, especially for exhibitors, I would highly recommend to keep it public because users should see your, your personal and your company profile as well. You click next. And now your onboarding is already complete. Now you can start networking. You're now coming to the main homepage of the Spuga and Grafe platform. As you can see, we've already updated all of the details of the barbecue deep dive event starting on the 17th of October. You can click directly into the barbecue deep dive event agenda and you will see all of the content that's happening on these days. But before we get into the networking area, I would like to show you how to update your personal profile. You can see your personal profile in the right hand corner up here. You click into there and now you can update again your contact details if you want to keep them public or private, your job title, your company, your location and again all of the onboarding questions including a summary about yourself. Once you've updated this, you can go to Manage My Availability. The Manage My Avail Availability area is where you can set yourself available for any kind of meetings. We've kept the meeting requests and the meetings open from um, 17th of October until end of November. Make sure to just untoggle all of the days you're not available, so it will be a lot more likely that people will choose or confirm meeting dates when you are actually available as well. Once you've done this, you are able to go into the main networking area. You can find in the main points in the left hand side here. As I mentioned already, please have a look in the barbecue deep dive event agenda and in the barbecue companies. Next, I would like to introduce you to the recommended for you area. The recommended for you area is the area where all of the people that are on the platform are recommended to you based on all of your details. So please make sure to scroll through this section here. You have several things you can do here. First of all, you can either skip a person because you think this person is not relevant for yourself or you can directly request a meeting. For example, you choose the person you want to meet with, the date, the time. As we mentioned, we've kept the meeting open quite long. So choose whatever date works for you, the time again, the location, since it is all virtual meetings, it will be in a virtual meeting room and a personal message why you would like to meet. Again, it's very important to make sure that you don't send out too many meeting requests because you only have 20 pending meetings. Once a person confirmed the meeting, you can just request a new meeting again. You can also just show interest. And if you show interest, you can add a note why you're showing interest in this person. Next, I would like to go to the interested in you area. This is the area where people are showing interest in you. For example, if someone is interested in you and you feel like you're also interested and would like to get in touch, you just click show interest 
and you're met automatically having a handshake. Now you can view the profile or request a meeting, or you can also directly start networking in the right hand corner here. You can either call this person if they're online, or you can request a meeting here, or just start a normal chat. chat. Next is the your contact request. So all of the people that you are interested in will be in here as long as they are not interested in you. Then you're also having your connections. Again, these are all the people that had a handshake with you and you can either start chatting or requesting a meeting. And then the last bit is the my schedule. This is the area where you can see all of the sessions that are happening and you're interested in. Or for example, I'm part of a speaker here, so it's automatically showing up in my schedule. But also all your personal meetings will show up in here. So make sure to keep checking this. You can then also send the, the meeting or the session into your personal calendar, either Apple Calendar, Google, all of the most common ones. And you can, of course, remove it again from your schedule as well. The last area of the networking um, aspect is the bottom here. Here you have a full list of all the companies that, that are within the digital platform, all the products, the community, the media, and again, you can review the trade fair from 2022, or you can also have a look at our video tutorials where we are explaining exactly how you're doing every single part of the platform, updating profiles, how to access the team section and so on. The last area I would like to show you now is the My Team section. This is also in the right hand corner here next to the personal profile. This is the area that only belongs to exhibitors. So if you are a normal visitor, you will not have this section. If you are part of a, an exhibiting company or part of a company, you will automatically be added to this area. If you don't have this My Team section, but you should because you're part of an exhibitor or a company, please get in touch with us and we can change this manually. The My Team section is basically a private area for your company where you can take care or um, especially making sure you're on top of your meetings from the whole company, your inbound leads, company chats, the team members, and of course your digital booth, your company profile. Um, every, as I mentioned, every single person that's attached to an exhibitor or company will have access to this. It works the way that the, um, our platform will automatically pull the email address, the last part of your email address. If your email address is other than your company name, please get in touch with us and we can add you manually as well. So first of all, you have the meeting requests area here. You will see a full calendar of all the team members, so you can choose whoever you would like to, to see who is available. You also have the status, either if meetings are scheduled, pending, awaiting responses or declined. And you can also create a new meeting here manually. You can choose again the representative, the guest, and then the date and time and location again. Next is the inbound leads. The inbound leads are the most important area for the exhibitor or for you as a company, because this is the area where you will see who is interested in your products and in your company profile and in all of your employees. So you can see exactly how people are connected. For example, someone has requested a meeting with someone of your, of your colleagues or has viewed a profile or has viewed a product. So if you have then a person who you think is interesting, you can either again skip that person, request a meeting, show interest, or you can also add a lead note. You can tag another colleague and say, please make sure to book a meeting. And then this colleague will receive a notification that they need to book a meeting with this person. Don't worry, the actual person who is interested in your profile or your product will not see this message. If you scroll to the top again, you will here see that we have 1,400 leads that we need to review. So we have not acted on them yet. We already acted on 26 reviewed ones and we have a total of 1,426 leads. So please always make sure to review your products because then you will get the best out of the platform. Next is the company check. The check. This is the area where people can chat with your company. Every single person within your team can access the company check and can ch chat and can reply to messages. The last one is the contacts. 
This is the area where you will see if a contact was made via the actual in-person event in June or via the matchmaking app. Then you have the team members area. The most important part here is that you have admins and normal team members. Team members are not able to accept more people, but admins are able to accept 